Hey, this is Clint from CT Mad Mods, and this week we're putting some Chrysler Town & Country seats in our Suzuki Samurais using the Zooks Off-Road H-Bracket. And of course, you know, we got some help. Right. Dang, Myron. That's a cool sticker. Yeah. This is how they come. This is the H bracket from Zooks Off-Road. Myron sent them over. Now, these are going to come with some hardware to mount to your seat. They're going to come in the raw like that. And uh, these bolt right up to the bottom of the Chrysler Town & Country seats. Kevin's painting his black. Is that where you're going to put that big old sticker? Yeah, that's where we're going to put the big old sticker. <laughs> Here's the town and country seats. So when you get these, um, you're going to have to remove all of this bracketry. It's really simple. There's six bolts. You got two right there, two right there, two right there. And uh, you got a bunch of cables. And these cables, you won't need them. So we're just going to take some snips and cut those off. You're gonna to wanna to keep those nuts and bolts. Now this weighs about 780 pounds. <laughs> those springs come off. These just pop right off. Now when me and Kevin got these seats, we ordered them from Seattle. From a junkyard. Sight unseen. Yeah. When they showed up, buddy, they were covered in mold. So we had to clean them and get rid of all that mold. It was kind of gross, but they're in pretty good shape. I'll show you mine. in here and pull this no you go in there and cut them i just use bolt cutters and cut them right off you don't need none of those yep actually cut it cut it off of this thing and then it just pulls out just from underneath there yep. yeah just cut off the tip <laughs> yeah it just pulls out of there so i went ahead and installed mine because we didn't know how it all went together yeah. kind of watched a quick video on it but that's Hard. pretty much it right there and uh, you're gonna use this bolt hole and I believe this one, the back one, with the H bracket. Long side. The long side going towards the door. Yep. And yep, that's how they go, just like so that. It sits in there like, like so. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And you have a little bit of adjustment side to side. Right, I just left mine loose. And then um, after I put it in, I kind of scooched the chair over to where I wanted it and then tighten them down. Now, Kevin's way more bougie than I am. I didn't even paint mine. <laughs> Put that down here. Looks good to me. Throw these in the dumpster. Ugh. I'm not kidding, those things are heavy. The next thing you need to do is remove this seat belt because you're not gonna use it with your Samurai seat belts. You're gonna use your existing Samurai seat belts. So you can take and modify your Samurai seat belt to fit in here, uh, and I'll show you how to do that. There's a screw on the back side right here. All right, pull that screw out, and then these just pop right off. Take this big old bolt out, and uh, this slides out. You're gonna have to loosen both of these to get it out though. All right, so when you're about to pull this uh, seat belt thing out, um, there's like a little plastic clip right here, and you just break that sucker off, and uh, the seat belt will just fall right out. I didn't know how I wanted to do mine, so I just left mine mounted uh, the way it came from the factory, and that's how I've been using it. I still need to take this out and uh, put pull that off, but you can see that your seat belt does not click in. It won't work on that seat belt that the Dodge came with. So you're gonna have to use your 
samurai seat belts and you can install that in that hole it's just gonna stick out a little bit further this kit uses the original suzuki samurai uh sliders and so you just take out that bolt and there's a bolt on the back you got two on the other sides and so you just pull these seats out maybe you got to sit in it yeah. see this is why we changing these seats out because those oem seats are trash especially after 30 years <laughs> there you go one thing i will tell you kevin is whenever you hit the little the little release on those on those town and country seats buddy are you moving <laughs> they are coming down son <laughs> you're gonna break your steering wheel better be careful Suzuki Samurai seat. Flip her upside down. We're going to get them brackets off. So you just got four bolts holding these brackets yes. on. Now, Myron makes what he calls a Z bracket for that other side, and it doesn't use the sliders from the Samurai. It has its own little bracket, and it gives you like a storage compartment underneath. I didn't go with those. I just did H brackets on both of them. Lubricate your sliders. Okay. All right. The way you modify the seat belt, according to Myron at Zoops, is you drill this hole out and then it bolts right up. So I'll do that. You get the vacuum in. Okay. <laughs> As you can see, this bolt almost fits in there. We're going to drill her out a little bit. All right, drill it out just enough to fit your bolt back in, and then we're going to put it in the seat. Okay, I just, uh, the old seat belt came under here like this, and so I just, uh, I just mounted this one on the top because this is so thick that this wasn't going together correctly, so I just put it on the outside. I don't know if that's right or wrong. That's the way I'm doing it. All right, when you snap this back on, this should be sticking out like that. Looks pretty good. The reason why I did that seat belt the way I did is because look how thin this is compared to how thick that other seat belt um, base was. And so I just put it on the outside and I think that's the right way. And this is pretty flexible, so it goes uh, with the seat. So when you move the seat, your seat belt will go with it. Oh, that looks nice. Probably the cleanest that carpet's ever been <laughs> since it was new. Right. All right, Kevin's going to pull this seat. And we're literally waiting on paint to dry. We should have painted these yesterday. It's glossy. I went ahead and did mine on my lunch the other day and I found out that there's a left side and a right side. Uh, one of the holes won't quite match up. And so you just grab the other bracket and for whichever seat you're doing and it'll fit on there. So it has to do with these uh, sliders. The sliders might not going correctly uh, mine didn't have a whole lot of wobble on the hole so sorry if I'm shooting all of this in a point of view and not putting myself in the video but the last time I did a video I said that my screen was broken and uh, I still haven't fixed it and I just keep thinking man I need to run down there and go get that fixed and I just keep forgetting so I'm just gonna point the camera elsewhere so really cool thing about these town and country seats is that you retain the movement of the town and country seat you also retain the movement of your stock seat and so you have a lot more range of motion if you do the seat belt mod myron suggests that you put the seat belt bolt back in in its existing hole so we'll do that real quick Toilet paper in here, Kevin. Oh, for the ladies. Oh. Is this cotton wood? Is this what? Cotton wood. No, it's off those seats. Oh. That's the other reason I wanted to get rid of them. Gross. 
Oh, do you want to put those over with the other ones? Yeah. Oops. Mounting bolts. About to drill this other seat belt and install it on that other seat. Long side towards the door. Yep. Yep, long side towards the door. No, and yeah, that, that part matches up. Oh, this it is the was part. This. Yeah, this is the part that we need to check. So now do we check that on the floor or do we check it with the rails? Well, what I did was I took those rails and put them back in the samurai. Then I mounted that H bracket to it, and then I took that whole thing out after it was matched and threw it in. That way, that would slide back and forth. Okay. But, yeah, go ahead and throw those in. All okay. right. So, this needs to go the other way. Right? To get yep. the back yep. one. Yep. Heck yeah, we're gonna throw them backs in first. They're over yonder. We've got an impact right here. There it is. Bolt those suckers down, Kevin. I just did it this way to square everything up. That way the sliders would work. Suckers are greasy. Oh no, because it's on the the adjustments on the H bracket. Yeah. So that doesn't matter. I ended up having to drill one of my holes. It was just off. Un poquito. That's probably it. That looks pretty good. Yep. All right, grab some hardware and we'll start dropping bolts. Okay, so we bolt this to the bracket. Yep. And take the whole thing off. Go slam it on the seat. This is the door. Yep, you just need to make sure that these bolts, it was the back ones on mine that didn't match up. So I had to pick a side. I should cut these all the way back. Huh? Maybe. Myron sends these with some hardware. They're 11 millimeter sockets. Your lubricant smells delicious. <laughs> all right, so I, whenever I did mine, I put the bolts in facing up and put the nuts on top. Um, I don't know if that's right or wrong, but that's how I did it and it ended up working out. It's a good thing you're wearing gloves there. Yeah. My paint wasn't quite dry yet, but that's okay. Run them home, Kevin. Oh, you might be able to shove the wrench under that hole. There you go. Shoot. Yeah. All right, take All right. the whole thing out and slam it on the seat. Let's go. We got a little... You got a little overzealous with the lubricant. All right, so this is the driver's seat. That's the driver H bracket. And it goes on like that. So it's going to hit the front screws or bolts. And you got some studs in the back, so it'll hit the back studs. Yep, we're just using the stuff. And we're using the factory stuff. You're right. I use washers whenever I put mine in, so we're going to use washers. Now I think we're gonna leave these loose and we're gonna throw it in and then adjust the seat left to right and then tighten it up from underneath. Uh, so first we're gonna bolt these back in. You're gonna take the whole seat, set it in here and then bolt these back in and then you'll reach in from the backside with a 13 millimeter ratcheting wrench and tighten them up. Kevin's about to do some heavy lifting. <laughs> Use your legs, not your back. <laughs> there you go. Don't hit the little lever while you're doing this, because uh, it'll it'll Slam try back. it'll try to take your steering wheel out. <laughs> yeah, just throw the front ones on, and then you'll scooch it forward and catch the back ones. I think when I say that thing will break that steering wheel, I'm here to tell you, bro, it is coming forward. Really? Oh man! Well, I'm gonna yeah. gently. <laughs> yeah, I was at work the other day, and somebody was checking it out, and he uh he hit that lever and went. I don't have a horn, but oh, you don't have a horn? I gave him the look. I was like, well, what are you doing? Oh, I didn't know that thing was. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Just put it on the end pack and send her home. Just send it. <laughs> oh, yeah. 
Okay. All right, so you should be able to set it back and then your your headrest goes up. Oh yeah. Um, and, and then use the samurai one, scooch it all the way back. And then you can use the town and country one and it has some more adjustment. Wow, it goes back a little farther. Right. I got, yours seems like it was like right up against this. Yeah, it's because I pushed my seat towards the door more. And you can do that. Now you got to get underneath there and uh, tighten your little bolts and decide. That's why that's why the seat's kind of scooching like this. It's because the H bracket isn't tightened down yet. There you go. And I'll do your samurai one. That's pretty cool. You can almost make this thing into an overlander with that seat all smashed down. You could almost lay down in here. Okay. So that's all the way forward. All right, so reach underneath there and tighten all four of your bolts. To make sure that uh, your H bracket's on right, go ahead and uh, like tighten the back ones and move it back and forth and make sure your sliders work and then tighten the front ones. Um, but these are some pretty cool seats. I like mine there. I've had them in for, what, a, several days now. Super comfortable. Um, it's still cold in Alaska. You can see the you can see the snow out there. So whenever I get in it, my butt crack is cold on them leather seats. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so all right, let's test her out. Ooh wee! Look at you, boy. Man, that's that is nice. Golly. Okay, so that's the samurai. Right. Adjuster. And you probably still have a little bit left on the town. No, and country. I'm all the way back oh, okay. on, the, on the seat adjuster. But I think if I just leave the samurai adjuster all the way back, anybody that needs to use it could just use it's, it. It's easier to grab the town and country oh, yeah, release. Yep. Ooh. So our buddy Trey Jones has a set of these and he left the center uh, armrests. He took the ones on the other side off um, just because it bangs into your seat belt. You have to kind of drag them out of that the armrest. You can kind of use the armrest, but it on the other side, but it um, it binds up into the seat belts. Oh man, look at all that! That's perfect, Ooh. dude. Yeah, a thick boy will have plenty of seat belt. Mm-hmm. Because normally, yeah, they were down here. Right. Cool. Okay. All right. All right. Put nice. your little arm. Put your little armrest down. Let's see. Oh, yes, man. sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Man. That's nice. And then... Okay. Yes, when you get to the glacier, you just do a little bit of relaxing. Cool. This one is a little tight over here on this side. Can we door close? <laughs> I like how you slam it to find out. It's just going to bounce back open. <laughs> okay, so... Cool. It fits. Man, for them long rides out to the glacier, you just kind of... Grab them with one finger. <laughs> Very cool. The only thing I, I miss is I lost my cup holder for my coffee cup, and I go get in it every morning with my coffee oh, cup yeah. and go, Ugh. Your center console? Yeah, so yeah. I had to take my center console out, but I'm looking at the ones uh, for the Jimny, and I'll put a picture in right now, and then you can pick these up on eBay. Um, I think it'll fit. I did the measurements and, uh, that's the one, our friend Steven Sherritt at Zuki me YouTube channel has in his Jimneys. So I'm going to see about getting one of those. All right. Rinse, repeat. We're going to take those brackets off, throw them on the other H bracket and throw them on that seat. And we're going in. suckers look good when we got these things they were completely covered in mold and it we did a bunch of it took us a couple of days of just scrubbing them down <laughs> cleaning them i feel like i still need to clean mine right. a little bit more but you can kind of see how it stained the uh the plastic and stuff the old mold but we got a good deal on them yes we did <laughs> I was just telling Kevin that I took this and I just cut it off. It's for the tumbler on the seat. Uh, so yours may not have that, but that 
little cable, um, there's a little T-handle on the back of the seat. So if you're in the back of the Samurai, you can pull that T-handle and it tumbles the seat. Uh, we don't need that on this, on this bracket. So we're gonna take that off. Oh, did you pick up that little wire that goes between the two sliders and put it back on? There's this a one? Yeah. No. There's a wire that goes between those. Right. <laughs> there it is. Thought you knew. This guy. <laughs> They're a little bit heavier than them samurai seats. Yeah. But it was about 150 pounds heavier with all of that bracketry on there. Factory crap. Yeah. All right, Kevin's gonna bolt this one in and we'll show you the end product. Boy, I put a little bit of armor on that. Yes, sir. Woo. Like putting lipstick on a pig. I'd be happy to ride shotgun on these. <laughs> <laughs> we need to figure, we need to figure out some consoles so we can put cold snacks and beverages. I'm gonna look at the ones, they're 60 bucks on eBay. I'm gonna grab one, just have it shipped in. It's a lot lower than mine. It like looks like it goes even with the seat and it's got two cup holders in it. Well then you should definitely do the seat belt mod to get those out of the way. Right. Cause then you can, then you can utilize this whole space. Right. All right, you well. Can have, you can have two cup holders right here. Put it in the comments. If you know what uh, console we should be using, put it in the comments, let us know. Well, that's about a wrap. I hope all that made sense. We tried to do the best we could uh, with what we had going on. Thanks to Myron at Zooks Off Road for sending us the H brackets and that cool sticker. And uh, thanks for Kevin at American Tire for letting us use the shop to do the work. And uh, thanks for watching my video. If you've come this far, hit the like button, leave a comment, tell us how we're doing. Thanks for watching my video. Just want to give uh, Zooks Off-Road a shout out for the awesome sticker and the great products and the great service. Myron's a solid dude. Answers a lot of questions that I ask that um, really appreciate everything he does for us. So. Ronan really likes these seats. <laughs>